Hi, this is Carol Clark and Greg Kendall, and we're here with Clark and Kendall's Weekend Preview with all the exciting events coming up in Los Alamos uh, for the next three days, and we have some exciting news. The big uh, event of the, the day for you is uh, the start of Gordon's May concerts, May 18th, and we have here none other than Russ Gordon to tell you all about it. Russ, take it away. Hey, hello, thank you. Uh, May 18th, we're starting, that's a week from uh, this Friday, um, next week, uh, with the Kite Festival at Overlook Park. We've got the Timmy, uh, Tiho Dimitri, whoa, too fast. <laughs> the Tiho Dimitrov Band and DK and the Affordables, that's going to be a great rock show. Following week, May 25th, we've got Los Alamos' favorite band, the Red Elvises, doing Russian rock and roll. Then we have Bluegrass, uh, June 1st, with Lori Lewis, a bluegrass fiddler, great bluegrass fiddler. Jazz with Greg Abate, the Nomads, the Police Experience, which is a, a tribute. Uh, that sounds fun. That's going to be a gas. I'm looking that's, forward yeah, to that. Yeah, that's going to be a gas. Well, on the 18th, Russ, tell us a little bit more about that band. Okay, Tiho uh, Dimitrov is uh, a rock, a rock and blues show. Um, he lives in Santa Fe. Rob Heineman is in the band. He's got oh. actually a great an all-star Santa Rob's Fe. a local. Rob's a local. Right. Uh, but he's got an all-star Santa Fe band. Um, Mark Clark on drums. No uh, relation. Huh? No, no relation, relation to Carol, I don't think. Not that I know yeah. of. Well, not that you know of, yes. <laughs> yeah, I think he's your father from another mother. <laughs> anyway, they're a tremendous band out of Santa Fe. And DK and the Affordables, that's David Warner from Los, uh, from Los Alamos, grew up here. Um, and his band, again, it's a local band. Uh, Rob's in that band. The drummer is uh, well, it's a great band. Now, on the May 18th show... Where is that going to be? That's at the Kite Festival. I'll be oh, at the, kite, at the festival. kite Festival in Los Alamos. Okay, great. At Overlook Park. Thank you, Russ. So we share that. It's a three-day festival. We'll be there on Friday night. All right. We're looking Please forward come. to that one. Yeah. Thanks, thanks we'll see so you there. much. Okay. Thank you. Great. And thanks, Russ Gordon. Now we're going to go to an event that's going to be... Um, this evening, from 5.30 to 10, it's the garden... Thursday, tonight's Thursday. Tonight is Thursday, and it will be 5.30 to 10 p.m. It's a wild... 5.30 to 7. I'm sorry, 5.30 5 30 to 7. 7. Wildflower, wildflower oh. Walk. Uh, it's the Garden Club Plant Sale, and, um, in, and it says, Join Chick Keller, curator of Peaks Hemes Mountain Harborarum, for an easy walk to learn the names of local wildflowers. A plant list will be provided so participants can keep track of what they see. And they ask you if you're interested in going, meet at peak at 5.30 today uh, to carpool or caravan to the trailhead. It's free and there is no registration required. Now that, there, there is a garden sales a plant sale, but I couldn't, I couldn't track down the information. I heard, okay. I heard on KRSN that there was a, a garden club plant sale. So check with the garden club on their plant sale. Uh, also, there's a self-help dinner, and also I tried to get information on that, and they were going to send me a flyer, but I never got the flyer. Okay. So, so, so check with self-help. Check with self-help because there is a dinner, a fundraising dinner. So, so keep them in your hearts and help them out. Uh, we've got the Los Alamos County Queens competition which is tonight on Thursday. That's the Rodeo Queen. The Rodeo Queen. It's, uh, they're going to meet at, uh, I think they start at 5 p.m. They're going to do the horseman portion of the competition for the Queen at the Brewer Arena. And then after the competition's over for the horsemanship, they're going to go to Fuller Lodge for the personality portion. And uh, there, are, there are three age groups, the Queens, who are 17 to 25 years old, the princesses who are 14 and six to 16, and sweethearts who are 10 to 13. So get out there and be a rodeo queen. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. And are you going to do it? Uh, no, because I'm just a little bit over 25. Okay. But uh, <laughs> I will cheer them on. And there is no cost to enter the competition. Um, so just, you know, get prettied up and go over there and do your best. And who knows, you might walk yeah. out a queen. You might help to know a little bit about horses, though. Well, this is true. Cause Probably having a horse would be nice. You do have to ride. And, and for those that don't know, Brewer Stadium is up there at uh, the stables. 
upon uh, North Mesa. And if you win this, you might even get to go on to the New Mexico State Fair in Albuquerque and and try out and try for the title of State Fair Queen. Very cool. Yes. Um, the uh, today uh, the UNMLA is presenting Fairy Tale Thursday film series. I believe tonight's film is Hansel and Gretel, and they're shown on the second and fourth Thursdays of the month at 6 p.m. at the UNMLA Student Center. Now, today from 4 to 6, uh, if you would like to see any of your favorite teachers uh, who are retiring, there's going to be a ceremony to honor them from 4 to 6 p.m. at Fuller Lodge. The public is invited to attend. They'll tell a little bit about each of the teachers and, and give them uh, you know, some kind of recognition. It's really kind of a heart-moving event. And then uh, this weekend, Friday and Saturday, uh, the New Mexico Dance Theater is going to have a show at the Dwayne Smith Auditorium. It's called The Sky's the Limit, and it's uh, the Friday night show is at 7, and the Saturday show is at 2 p.m. The tickets are available at Uli's Cottontails or at the door 30 minutes prior to the performance times. It's 10 bucks for adults, 5 bucks for students and seniors, and free for kids. Four and under. And my friend Holgar told me that this is a really fun show. There's a lot of kids, little kids in this. Oh. And a whole range of kids. And it's supposed to be just a really, really neat, entertaining show. Great. And then um, also, uh, let's see, on Saturday night, 7 p.m., Amy Ringel is going to perform her Bowl of Stone Tour concert at Trinity on the Hill in Kelly Hall. Uh, she's a solo performer and has been lauded for her caramel voice, intricate guitar work, and rejuvenating lyrics. She has sung, played guitar, and arranged music for most of her life. I do not know how old she is. It's 10 bucks at the door. Um, Saturday, Saturday, March 12th, I'm sorry, May 12th, uh, we're going to have the National Association of Letter Carriers stamp out hunger drive. So leave your food, this is a great thing, we do this every year. Yeah. Leave your food bag near your mailbox. A letter carrier will pick it up and will give it to needy families. And that kind of food is non-perishable foods. And canned. The, yeah, uh, canned, boxed food, nothing in glass, yeah. in glass jars or anything like that. Right. And then uh, at the Tally Station bookstore. There's a reading and book signing. Um, in a chilling story of her parents' escape from Hitler's reign of terror called Steps of Courage, Bettina Hauerlin reveals the depth and breadth of Nazism in pre-war Germany at a reading and signing at Ottawa Station Bookstore to, uh, Saturday, Saturday at 3 p.m. Yep. I'm going to try to go to that. That really that sounds, sounds interesting. Uh, the, uh, there's going to be a run on Saturday. Uh, you'll need to get there at 9 a.m. and it's it's the Jerry Bauer Memorial 5K Run for Alki for the Al Alzheimer's Association, and it's going to be at the Betty E. Hart Senior Center. Uh, the it starts at 9 a.m. Registration starts at 8 a.m. Uh, so make sure you get there early, and it is uh, sponsored by the Atomic Runners Club, and you can get more information and registrations for them at their website, which is atomicrunners.com. And then we've got United Skates on Friday, and that skates as in roller skates. It's a Friday night program which runs during the school year, and it's divided into two sessions. The first from 5.30 to 6.45 for third graders and younger, and the second session will run from 7 to 9 p.m. for fourth grade and older. This helps to ensure that younger skaters don't get run over by the faster, bigger <laughs> youth. Frequently, parents will join in with the younger group this Friday, uh, which is tomorrow night. It's their 50th anniversary of offering Friday Night Skates. And this and is an amazing thing. Uh, where, where does this take place? This takes place at the church. Uh, it's a, it, the, the one across the street from Trinity on the Hill. Oh, uh, the Methodist the Church Methodist Church is okay. where I believe it takes place. Great. Um, Don Casperson is the master of ceremonies and runs the program. Oh. And he's been doing it for many, many years. And he's just an amazing guy, a huge... Uh, volunteer for all kinds of things. He's in Kiwanis. He does all kinds of Kiwanis volunteering. He's a great guy. Support him in his 50th anniversary program uh, for May 11th. And uh, and go and check him out. You can go and watch. And it's really fun to watch. And I've got some pictures and I, we did a story this week. That's right. So. You can find a story on LADailyPost.com all about it. The uh, Chamber of Commerce Golf Tournament 
benefiting the United Way of, North, of Northern New Mexico. Now, I can tell you a little bit about this because there was just a little bit of controversy about this situation. What it is is the Chamber of Commerce, their annual golf tournament, the funds raised go to benefit United Way of Northern New Mexico. Now, it is going to take place at noon to 6 p.m. at Black Mesa Golf Course. On Friday. On Friday, tomorrow, tomorrow. night. And I have to say, if you're wondering, well, why on earth would the Los Alamos Chamber of Commerce have their golf tournament in at Black Mesa, which is down there by Española. The reason is that, as you know, our golf course up here in Los Alamos is under construction, the clubhouse. In fact, there is no clubhouse to serve the great big lunch that they have as part of this big fundraising event. So they had to go down to the next closest place. Um, I know the year before they did have it up here, and I attended, and it was quite a wonderful thing. They have a cookout, and they have all kinds of great food. It's all fun. You can have... Uh, foursome play and all that out there in little golf carts. Um, so if you're interested and would like to find out more or, or join a team, call Suzette Fox at 661-4844. Yeah, and get in on that because that's going to be good. The J. Robert Oppenheimer exhibit, Photographies from His Life, 1904 to 1967, is still up at the gallery at the Mesa Public Library, uh, and that's for the month of May. There's 50 back black and white photos that document uh, Oppenheimer's life from the early years beginning in 1904 to his death in 1967. They illustrate the professional and personal and humanitarian sides of his life. The show was originally created and exhibited in 19, I'm sorry, in 2004 uh, by the J. Robert Oppenheimer Memorial Committee in Los Alamos to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Oppenheimer's birth. At that time, it was mounted in the Los Alamos, Santa Fe, and Española, and Oak Ridge, Tennessee. So that's that's okay. If you haven't seen that, get in there and see that before May's over. It's amazing uh, display of history of our town. It's very special. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the tomorrow night uh, we're going to have the Cowboy Poet. It, it's a play. I saw it last week. I saw the opening night, which was last Friday night, and I can tell you that the two lead actors. Um, Bruce um, uh, Larmentine and the, the, his love interest, if you will, uh, they both have very, very beautiful voices. It's a, it's a musical, um, and it's, it's quite a funny thing. And it's set in the, uh, the play is set in Pewaukee and, and the Santa Fe area, and it's, it's, it's really quite funny. It's, it's a, one of those kinds of plays that in some moments it's a little over the top, uh, but, you know, it's fun to go see, and I encourage you to get out there and, and support our local actors. Um, there, there's a, a, a Friday night and Saturday night. Uh, the, show, the show opens at 7.30 p.m. through May 19th. Uh, then Sunday there's a 2 p.m. matinee on May 13th. Tickets are $12 for adults and 20. No, I'm sorry, we, we reversed that. Yeah. I apologize. It's 20 for adults and 12 for students and seniors and can be purchased either at the door or at CB Fox Department Store on Main Street. Now on Saturday, Peak is going to have a hike to the Cave of the Winds. And this is really cool. I've been to the Cave of the Winds. It's a little, it's a little bit steep to get there. Uh, not too steep, though, for maybe kids over 10 or so, 11, 12. Uh, there's a shallow slot cave at the edge of the Los Alamos Canyon. The hike's about a um, one-mile hike. takes about two hours. The leader's going to be Janie O'Rourke, who's really passionate about trails and history. This should be really, really good. Uh, if you haven't been there, it's very cool and very unusual in Los Alamos. Um, the, there's no fee, but the space is limited, so you ought to register right away because it is Saturday by calling uh, Peak at 662-0460, or you can go to the the Pajarito uh, Environmental Education uh, Environmental Education Center dot org website and uh, you look that up in Google. Yeah. And uh, you you need to bring a flashlight and a cap with a crown to avoid head bumps <laughs> okay <laughs> maybe a helmet would be good it is it's a little yeah there's some sticking out rocks and things that you got to watch out for but it's a cool cave it's an actual cave you go into uh, and you disappear from the earth it's just a, you know you wouldn't even know the hole was there it's hard to find if you, unless you know it's there wow. so this is your opportunity to find out where it is um, 
So meet at Peak at 1245 or at the Camazon Trailhead at 1 o'clock. Yeah, uh, but register yeah. with Peak. Yeah. Uh, so now we've got the Los Alamos Concert Association on Sunday the 13th, which is this coming Sunday at 4 p.m. The St. Lawrence String Quartet has established itself among the world-class chamber ensembles of its generation, presented by the Los Alamos Concert Association. Um, and it's going to be at Dwayne Smith Auditorium, 4 p.m. Now, I can tell you that I've been to the last several of the concerts put on by the Los Alamos Concert Association, and they are phenomenal. I mean, it, you could be in New York City at the Met. They are so fantastic. Uh, you've got to go. In fact, I actually got a photo of our laboratory director, uh, Charlie McMillan, and his wife uh, attending the last concert um, which was the King's Singers, and they were phenomenal. Um, so okay. I try to attend that. The uh, That's Sunday. Now, we missed one. It's Saturday at 3 is the uh, May Day Melee Mashup Bout. That is the uh, the M. Adam Bombs uh, Roller Rink Rollers uh, Skating Group uh, that is going to put do a... Uh, it's going to be a bout between... I, get, I think it's white shirts and black shirts... Uh, so you get to see some some uh, roller derby action down at the ice rink, and be there at 3:30 on Saturday to see that action. And there's going to be uh, they're also going to be up against uh, Pas Pasosas. I think it's Pagosa. Pagosa. Okay, it's just a misspelling here. Okay. Uh -huh. So they're going to have an out of town group come and uh -huh. challenge them in their roller rink yeah. uh, activity on Saturday at the ice rink. Uh, the county council is having their sessions next week. Tuesday, these are big, folks. These are important meetings. Uh, the CIP, on Tuesday, they're going to discuss the, the ranking for the CIP unfunded phase two pro projects. And now, if you yeah. haven't voted yet, go on LADailyPost.com and take the poll related to these projects. Rank them in the order you would like to see the, the projects funded. It's very important for the county council and Los Alamos, Los Alamos County government to understand what the community wants. And this is a great way to send a message because we will be turning all the results over to the county and the county council um, it, just as soon as the poll is complete. Right. And, and at this Tuesday meeting, there's going to be no public speaking. It's going to be the sponsors of each of the CIP projects is going to have 30 minutes, I believe. So this is a way, if you go on our poll, this is a way for you to, sh to show what you think should happen. Uh, uh, now the poll will close shortly, so make sure you get on there right away and get your vote in before we do close the poll because we've had huge numbers of people voting. Yeah, it's uh, amazing. Yeah. And I can tell you the reason that the county made the decision not to have anybody speak Tuesday night except the sponsors of each project is they felt they have held so many public meetings and given the public so many opportunities to uh, express themselves and ask questions on these projects and they they can go on on the county website and read about the projects in depth they just felt if they did uh, open this up you know one more time to the public everything a would be redundant that said and b the meeting would last till two o'clock in the morning and you know those counselors can't really make good decisions after 10 or 11 at night it's just too hard Everyone's getting tired, so I, I really think they made a good decision yeah. on this. But on Wednesday night, they're going to talk about what they're calling the other CIP projects. And these, these, are, uh, these are kind of internal department projects that didn't go to, through the public CIP funding yeah. process. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're still very important. Uh, for example, the Canyon Rim Trail uh, is going to be decided on, on what, what to do with that as far as funding and budget. So the public can speak on Wednesday at the beginning of that meeting to support these other projects. So check online at the county's website to see what those other projects are when they have their, uh, their, uh, their menu of, of what's going to be going on, uh, the agenda. OK, the, uh, the, on Wednesday, the 16th, it's going to be the Bandelier Talk, A Walk on the Wild Side. And it's uh, J Jason, Bandelier Superintendent Jason Lott will come to Peak, and that's over on Orange Street, just beyond Los Alamos High School. And he's going to talk about the current status of the monument. He'll talk about the monument's recovery from the Los Conscious Fire, planned public programming, the new shuttle system with Atomic City Transit that takes people, they park their vehicle over at Rover, 
uh, Boulevard and NM4 in White Rock, and they can hop on a shuttle and go down to Bandelier and, you know, enjoy the day and then hop on another shuttle and come back up and get in their car and go home. Um, and uh, he's going to also talk about current and planned projects and allow time for questions and answers, and that's at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, next Wednesday, May 16th at Peak 3540 Orange Street. And uh, Baranka Pool is having a work party to get the get ready for the summer season. It's going to be Saturday from 8 to 2 uh, on May 19th. Uh, now we've got some upcoming things. We're just going to go through them real quickly just to let you know some things that are coming up further off uh, after the week is up. Uh, it's Jazz Night at the Blue Window, Saturday, uh, May 19th. 7 to 9 p.m. And then Co-op Rocks on Saturday, May 19th. That's going to be at UNMLA. Um, it's going to be their... music and uh, bands and mm -hmm. activities. <laughs> yes. And that's going to be in their lecture hall. That's at 7. At 7 p.m. Uh, and then uh, there's a solar eclipse event at peak that's going to be on May 20th. And that's actually, it's not at peak. It's at the White Rock Overlook Park uh, Park soccer fields and I'm assuming it's at oh six thirty. So check out the solar it's sponsored by Pete. Clips. It's sponsored by Pete. And then we've got the Los Alamos Choral Societies. They're gonna perform their spring concert on May twentieth, three PM United Church. And we've got uh, the eighth grade athletic night is gonna be on May twenty second at the Smith Auditorium. Mesa Public Library Author Speak series. We'll tell you more about that later. Yeah. Hershey's track and field games, June sixth, ten AM uh, uh, register at the Aquatic Center or the YMCA. And the Hawks to Hilltop Urban Park. It's going to be fun for kids. That's coming up on May 25th. And then uh, and then we've got Young Life. Uh, that's an, or, an organization, a, a kind of a Christian organization in town for, for youth, for teenagers. And they're going to have their second annual golf tournament Saturday, May 19th. Um, and if you go to their, uh, you can go to the uh, ad on the LADailyPost.com website and find out details. Uh, I think it clicks through to their website. But anyway, uh, it's basically a four-man scramble uh, format, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It starts at noon, at, I believe it's 1 o'clock on Saturday, May 19th. The League of Women Voters is going to have the, uh, they're going to have the candidates for contested races. Now remember our local council, it's not contested in the primary. All the council candidates are going to move on to November's election. Uh, but the League of Women Voters will have the, the contested. So for example, uh, judges judges and, and, and to senators and, and uh, that have opposition for the primary. So this is going to be actually very, very interesting uh, thing that's at 7 to 9 at UNMLA on the 17th. Uh, and then finally, we've got the Relay for Life's coming up June 15th and 16th. And you'll hear more about that later. So let's see. We've been trying to get down to 15 minutes. We're at uh, 23 minutes. Wow, well, we went over this time wah, a little wah, bit. There's <laughs> so much going on. There is. And, and let me tell you, um, the Chamber of Commerce, if, if you go to the LA Daily Post website and click on um, FYI LA or the Chamber of Commerce link, the FYI LA um, has even more events that we haven't even mentioned uh, that where that you can find. So yeah, um, something for everyone. There is indeed. Yeah. yeah, we're lucky to live in Los Alamos. Yes, we are. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.